What about your prostate exam? Is it up to date? When was the last time you went to the doctor to find out how healthy your prostate is? Life begins where our fear ends, so we need to take a step beyond fear to get out of our comfort zone. And that step has to be taken by men who are afraid of the proctologist. That step has to be taken to the proctologist. Did you know that prostate cancer is considered one of the most dangerous cancers for men? According to the American Society for Cancer Diagnosis, it is estimated that about one in nine men will be diagnosed with this disease at some point in their lives. It is predicted that by the end of this year, 223, 200,000 men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer for the first time, and that this disease will lead to the death of more than 40,000 of these men. However, if prostate cancer is detected at an early stage, it has a much lower risk of becoming fatal. That's why it's important for men to be aware. This video is a warning to all men over the age of 45 to seek proper medical care to go to the proctologist because you could be saving your life. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and share the video and leave your like because YouTube understands that this video is relevant and this information can reach a man or a woman who will alert their partner or their friend, their acquaintance to go to the doctor if they have some of these symptoms that I'm going to talk about here in the video today. Leave your location below so we can have this conversation. Here we go. The prostate is a gland located under the bladder and surrounds the urethra and plays a very important role in the production of seminal fluid, which helps sperm leave the man's body. Unfortunately, many men, most of them, don't pay much attention to their prostate until it starts to present serious complications. Prostate cancer is a type of cancer that originates in the glandular cells and its name is known as adenocarcinoma. Most prostate cancers fall into this category. There are two types of prostate cancer, those that develop very quickly and those that develop slowly over time. That's why it's so hard to catch prostate cancer early. Stay with me until the end of this video to understand how it works, what the early signs and symptoms of prostate cancer are, because with this information, you could save a life. And it's important to remember that some men can have prostate cancer that remains undetected for decades without showing any symptoms. That's why it's important that we learn more about prostate cancer and its symptoms so that we can make an early diagnosis and seek appropriate treatment. Developing symptoms or complications related to prostate cancer can pose significant dangers, especially if it spreads to other parts of the body. There are symptoms of prostate cancer that can be observed through self-examination. There are 10 warning signs of prostate cancer. If you have four or five of these signs, you should see your doctor to see if it might be prostate cancer. The first early symptom of prostate cancer, you know, when you go to the bathroom and it starts to burn when you pee. That painful burning mixture that feels like there's pepper in your urethra. Why does this happen? The enlargement of the prostate caused by cancer can interrupt the regular flow of urine, causing an obstruction, and consequently, there will be this painful burning mixture due to this obstruction in the urethral canal. The second important symptom to look out for is changes in the flow of urine. Prostate cancer can also cause many changes in urine flow, such as weakness in the urinary stream or difficulty even starting or stopping urination. Another very common symptom of prostate cancer is increased urinary frequency. Once a man has been to the bathroom twice, he will have a very strong urge to urinate, especially at night. A fourth symptom to watch for is difficulty emptying the bladder completely. The presence of cancer will make it difficult for the bladder to empty completely, leading to this persistent feeling that the bladder is still full, that it hasn't emptied completely, which can be a symptom of prostate cancer. And the presence of blood in the urine or semen can be a symptom of prostate cancer. Prostate cancer causes this presence of blood in the urine or semen, so be alert. 
A symptom that few people think about but is very common is pain in the lower back, hips, and thighs, because as the cancer develops and spreads, it can cause pain in those areas. So be warned. Frequent back pain in the lumbar region, along with the other symptoms, is a warning sign. In some cases, prostate cancer affects erectile function. So not having an erection, having difficulty getting an erection, can also be a symptom of prostate cancer. Persistent pain in the bones, this is a cancer that is already in the advanced stages, and then it will spread to the bones, causing persistent pain, especially in the back, thighs, and hips. Have you lost a lot of weight in the past month? Losing more than 10% of your body weight could be a sign of prostate cancer. If the cancer is at an advanced stage, it will usually cause weight loss for no apparent reason. Are you tired? Extreme fatigue for no apparent reason is also a sign of prostate cancer because cancer always causes extreme fatigue where you don't feel like getting out of bed. And it's important to remember that the presence of one or more of these symptoms does not necessarily mean that you have prostate cancer, but if you have four or more of these symptoms, it's a warning to go to the doctor. Be aware of these symptoms, but the most effective way to avoid the dangers of prostate cancer is to see a proctologist. And rectal examination, ultrasound and PCA screening will help to diagnose the disease properly. Now that you know some of the symptoms of prostate cancer, it's important to consider the risk factors. Some of the risk factors include older age with prostate cancer becoming more common after the age of 50. Black men have a higher risk of developing prostate cancer compared to other races, although the exact reasons for this are still unknown. Before the last point, I want to let you know that I'm going to leave a link for you to click on in the comments below with our herbs and foods program with recipes that explain how to keep your organs healthier. This way, you can prevent future health problems with homemade and natural recipes. There's even a tutorial that teaches you how to grow these herbs at home to improve the health of each of your organs. Take a look and then come back and tell our team what you think, okay? Family history also plays an important role, especially if your father or brother has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Another scientifically proven factor that contributes to the development of prostate cancer is obesity. Obesity can increase the risk of prostate cancer, but there are preventative measures that can be taken to reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Change your diet to include fruits, vegetables, whole grains to have a pump of antioxidants in your body. Reduce your sugar intake because sugar is what feeds cancer cells. Exercise regularly and maintain a healthy weight. It's important to discuss your risk of prostate cancer with your doctor so that together you can explore the best medications and treatment options to minimize this risk. Remember that many men with prostate cancer have no symptoms. However, prostate cancer is curable, especially if caught early. So don't worry or draw negative conclusions from this video. Try to contact your doctor if you experience any of the symptoms mentioned. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to see a doctor if you have four or more of the symptoms mentioned above. And what's the next video you're going to watch? I'll leave my recommendation here. Did you like the video? Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our health tips, and ring the bell. It's very important that you share this knowledge with your friends and family, because when it comes to your health, it's worth sharing, so please do. Until the next video, thank you and stay healthy.